All right. So today, um, I was looking through my mob list and realized that there was one that I had had around for a while, but I hadn't ever put on the list because it... Uh, one thing you have to know about how mods work in the background is that they all have, like, a... They have, like, the name of the class here. Um, you know, which all mine lost theirs. And a lot of the mods in the background follow this naming convention. So they'll be named, like, the... The Vagabond, the... the, the all starting with the... Uh, which means they all show up in T under your mod list. And so it's easy to lose them. Lose them. Um, today's that I found was the axe. Uh, I don't think I ever had this one on the list. Um, we're, we're, we gain two spin at the start of combat. We're going to spin to win. So... That's, that's that's basically the plan for today. Um, I believe this is a... Uh, it wasn't noted directly in the mod, but a couple of, like notes around it mentioned like Dota 2. Uh, so... At least it's not noted like right here in the mod. So... That's a Dota, it's a Dota, okay, good, that's a, not played it with cards, look, feel true to Dota 2. I am not, um, like, the, the, the MOBA that I played way back was, uh, was League of Legends, uh, didn't ever really get into to Dota, especially because, if I go further back, there's, there's the, the split of played StarCraft maps and played WarCraft 3 maps. And I played StarCraft maps. I didn't play WarCraft 3 maps, which means I didn't branch off. I'm making a bunch of hand motions you can't see. Um, but, like, I didn't branch off into, like, Dota from WarCraft 3 use map settings. I branched off from StarCraft stuff, uh, which involved playing a lot of, like, Archon Tag and <laughs> nonsense, but <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, um, all that is to say that my familiarity with Dota is limited. Uh, so, I will rely on you to catch the uh, the references or direct calls uh, back to. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's jump on in. One man army of the Red Mist. We start with two spin at the start of combat. Like Dota 2, boy, honey, was a toxic off the play. I look, I played League of Legends, <laughs> I, and I, I stopped playing League of Legends. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that I didn't stop playing League of Legends. Uh, basically, for the game, uh, yeah, I, I know exactly what you. Mean. All right, so. Spin. Oh! Spin is thorns. When receiving attack damage, deal like damage equal to spin to all enemies, but it's AoE thorns. Okay. So this is like a um this relic here is like a like side grade to bronze scales. Um I would think of this as thorn mail, uh, from older League of Legends. Which I guess is has just thorns, so. Blade Mail's a Dota, you activate it and reflect all damage. Yeah. Okay, so we have, we start with two spin. Alright, what do we actually have? We got axes, we got blocks, five. A apply five Bloodlust. I'm Bruce Smith and three gate emus. Thank you both for the sub, I appreciate it. From both of you. Bloodlusted creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Bloodlust is reduced by a third when the creature deals on blocked damage. Oh. So this is like poison that they have, if they hit you, it falls off quick. You make them angry, and if they hit you... Bloodless is long duration. Don't think it goes away and kill anything like a creep. Okay. 
Okay, this is fun. And that upgrades really nicely, too, to 12 blocks. So this is effectively a 6 block because you take 2, but... Damn, okay. Taunt, 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 yeah. Alright, we can't take the bottom one. I can spend my 99 cold to remove two cards. That's probably worth it if I can avoid shots. Which I can, so I probably will take that. Taunt, 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 taunt. Yeah, we can just avoid shops. We can get a lot of bond. Let's take this route. That's a really fun way to do Iron Wave, yeah. Like, you get to... So you scale with not strength, but with thorns. And I assume we'll have... Because this is a mechanic on our starting relic, I'm sure we'll have ways of generating it. Um... We'll, we'll decide if we want this shot, by the way, at the end, if we have enough money. I think I'm going to just remove a strike and defend. I, do I want to remove two strikes? Removing two strikes it leaves us with a nine-card deck, but... Um, only three strikes and a Berserkers? I think I have to leave four strikes in the deck. Remember seeing some cards unless you probably appreciate just with general moment knowledge? Probably. Again, when I say I played League of Legends, I mean I played, like, a lot of League of Legends uh, in between 2011 and 2013-ish. So, all right, let's remove our two. We're going to take a strike and a defend. I could go two strikes, but I'm worried we'd be too low on... We can, can we deal tons of damage? Yeah! Lee Sin, the blind monk. I know Darius, yes. That is, that is a character I am familiar with. Angry. <laughs> AOE this is this feels very powerful. We have some nice chopping noises. Babysit the carry, alright. <laughs> Gain block and deal damage equal to the number of cards in your hand, and then else two. Town portal scroll. All right, we're going to hit B. Um, next turn, gain additional one and one. End your turn. I said good day, sir. <laughs> oh. I want this upgraded really badly. This is cool. A taxi for zero three times. Spin is just thorns. It does not drop in any way. We don't have anything that get grants more, but I'd love to have more. All right, let's see if we can have fun with that. I want to upgrade it quick, obviously. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kaka. Um. It is more effective currently to just attack. Um, are they dead? They have voice lines for the moves. <laughs> Are we Morbin? Cut. 
cut and run. Reduce the cost. Random card in your hand to zero. Draw a card. Mobile time. Hmm. So this is like re apply poison with all your unblocked attacks, which is like fine. Um, boots of speed is get you get your deck rolling, draw through it a little more quicker. Cut and run is like a better strike in a lot of ways because it lets us get a lot of cards. This is like a, a kind of like a pommel strike, but like a little different. I don't hate that. We'll take that. Alright. Alright, spin the wheel! Sure, I'm at full. This is actually generally useful uh, in this act because a lot of the... the um... You want it? Hmm. You want it? If the enemy intends to attack, deal 12 damage. A sentry ward? Sure. Each time you lose HP, you gain two spin and apply two weak. Oh, that's incredible. Each turn? What the fuck? Oh, God. Alright, we can't afford anything here, but... We need to learn a little bit. Gain what worth it. Oh, you just use this last. <laughs> Look, as long as you say worth it after you get the kill... It doesn't matter if it was a bad idea or not. That's how it works. I've played these I've played these games before. Dragon of Shard is a character specific upgrading? Okay, that's neat. Having access to the poison is nice. And it, the name does come from Magnum? Okay. That, that's why you have a character who's just Lena Inverse, you know? That's why you have a character who's just, like... Th th that's, that's why certain Dota characters just exist in the way that they do. Um, this, this kind of rules. You hide in a, a bush. I'm gonna hide in a bush. Alright, what do we got? Lock of one? I don't know if I have anything that really... Yeah, I give him the old line of sight. Okay, if you wake up to the bloodlust, that's fine. So, given the title of this one being Spin to Win, and you look distinctly like a uh, an orc of some kind, I'm assuming that this is a Warhammer... Not Warhammer, sorry. Warcraft 3 Blademaster? That's where we probably started before this became uh, a Dota character. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, so that is exactly what it is then. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, ah, D Dota characters who are just Warcraft <laughs> characters, but slightly changed. Yeah. So our main gimmick is that we start with spin, which is thorns by another name. 
Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have things like this. Where we have thorns and we force attacks. <laughs> that's the Berserker's call. That's in that that that's, His butt's too big to fit on the ride. That's the... He's too big. Yeah, uh, it's AOE Thorn specifically. Correct. Okay, so that's that is the reason to justify it not being simply Thorns. Yes, because it's it's when you take receive attack damage deal that equal to all enemies. Okay. Is I'm going to assume Blade Mail over there is the first thing you buy every single time in a round of Dota as this character. <laughs> Just too fitting. Okay, um, so we're taking the we're taking damage this turn, but what what if you get offered um item upgrades in like the uh on the boss ones like every single time as this character? Maybe that's how this is gonna work. <laughs> interesting. Maybe, maybe you get, you get offered, you know, like you can buy some yeah some different stuff, and then later on you swap over to. A different thing, then you can lapse them two into one thing, and so on and so forth. I don't know, maybe the Dota item progression would actually be kind of neat in uh, Slay the Spire. We, I mean, we do have like different style of upgrade cards that are extant in this, you know, in, in um, mm -hmm. like Burning Blood becoming. A, a... Okay. Yeah. Apply two Bloodlust for each card in your hand. Uh, Bloodlust is a uh, poison that, like, if you take a hit from them, you get, uh, you, like, if you take a hit from them, it drops. That's when it drops, specifically. So, gotcha. like, if you take a hit, you, they lose a third of the blood. I'm sorry, Blink Dagger. Uh, if you have this, it also that is the, it, it is identical to the gambling chip. Huh. This is the freest Why thing ever. It's it's pretty free, yeah, because the, it, it, the only thing this does is minus one max hand size for the rest of the turn, that's it. Which, as we've seen over here, might matter. I guess. Right, that, 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 that's a mechanic, you know? Each card hand. Yeah, so maybe that's actually an upside. Blink Dagger is why Flash exists, yeah, in... In League of Legends, uh, you 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 have your like two talents you take your, your summoner spells, and by two I mean you always take Flash because, come on, and yeah, mm. and the Force of Retreat. I don't know what sadistic is. Whatever you apply. Oh, it's sadistic. Oh, sadistic. Understood. That's sadistic. So. This is, like, just a copy of Sadistic Nature that also has lose three strength on it? Damn. That's actually quite cool. I'm, I'm gonna take the Blink Dagger, but dang. The Daze is trying to keep that card from doing infinite shenanigans. That would probably make sense. Oh, well. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, nice. The freest choice in the world. Yeah. All right, so the upgrade I want here is really, really obvious to me. We have this card that's I said, "Hey, good day, sir." I said, "Good day, sir," where we instantly take two attacks for one damage. Huh? What if instead we took three attacks for zero damage? So does their strength come into play on this? Uh, instantly ignoring damage modifiers. Okay, gotcha. So. This is just three. Activate your thorns three times, you know. Three times, yeah, yeah. It sounds good. Yeah. So I have never been a Dota player uh, or a MOBA liker in general. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do have a strong love. Rest in peace for Warcraft Three custom maps. Yeah, I. I mean, the Warcraft Three custom maps. Like I, like I mentioned at the beginning, there's the. Like, you either were playing StarCraft custom maps or WarCraft 3 custom maps, and those were the... And I was absolutely <laughs> playing WarCraft 3 custom maps. I'm just gonna take this. This is, like, a fine upgrade. 
Cause like yeah, people build whole games into the Warcraft Three customs. <laughs> oh good, I actually have answers for you. <laughs> the fact that I spin <laughs> does a lot here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this encounter is actually maybe the single most dangerous regular encounter in Act One normally. Yeah. The five slimes. Cause like now I can go, you know. Instead I can just say You know <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Item. Items are unplayable cards with a retain that have a passive effect in the hand and provide another effect on exhaust. Oh, okay, so we are doing, like... When retained, apply two bloodlust to all enemies. On exhaust, apply four. Wait. Okay, but I'm... you have to manually exhaust these. Yeah, but this is just... So it auto-retains... Mm -hmm. This is a copy of Noxious Fumes that sits in my hand. Yes. <laughs> huh. And then, um... Interesting. Agnum Shard here. Is the way we start scaling. Yeah. Okay. Pretty solid. I, I find that... I, I picked this one up because I found it kind of funny it's mm -hmm. but uh you just you're standing behind a tree which makes you invisible now y yes you're completely invisible because you went into the tree mm -hmm. hmm shard but i really like the these are both really nice especially because like if i get attacked on my own turn by my own card i trigger this so long as you actually take damage. If I take damage, yeah. I'd have to lose HP. Mm -hmm. Still. God, that scales quick. It scales quick, and it does make it so that you do resist. Like The next that, hit. That yeah. weak is going to be very relevant in a lot of fights. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to... Weak. I'm playing this specifically to apply the weak. Mm -hmm. I remember being so incredibly impressed on Warcraft 3 custom maps whenever <laughs> they would have uh, models swapped out. Yeah, like I'd be like... That is the coolest shit. How are they doing that? <laughs> I've played a number of Dragon Ball Z yeah. uh, custom maps. Those Trump. are the best. Ooh. Oh, just gain a buffer every six yeah, turns. Yeah, every six turns buffer. Sure. Draw creep aggro. I did it. I, I drew it. <laughs> nice. Kill steal. Just... <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to draw it. I like how concise the wording is on this mod. Yeah. All right. What do I want to do here? Our next fight is an uh, is the big elite. Um, hopefully it's just the trio. Um, we 
could get away with probably blink dagger upgrading because two volume is such a huge difference than one volume. Yeah, that makes it so that you can actually use it preparing for next turn. Yeah. And the other one would be like, this upgrade is actually a lot of extra block on it, plus four, but this is also plus four, but split. Yeah, I'm going to take the Blink Dagger upgrade. Okay. Okay. Plus two strength on you, huh? Delaying here also gets the halberd going. Okay, so this lets us upgrade the spin. upset about you did this to yourself <laughs> you hit me you woke up woke me up uh, no, doesn't really matter <clears throat> so we get our two free block next turn to offset the strength and the weak from our thingy should also like assist there uh, that's It's at least a lot of damage. Yeah, and you're not taking any in response. You have that buffer, right? So... No, well, no, I don't have the buffer yet. It's on turn six. Oh, right. Okay, I thought you already had it. My bad. Taking one damage here is actually that, like, fine. Oh, well. I'd prefer zero, but... <laughs> Now we get a buffer. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about it is that, like, it's not like just this turn, it's just a buffer, you know? Yeah. And unfortunately, you're gonna end this fight, I think, here, so we can't see it yet if this is counting over between fights, or if it's if it's on exactly turn six. Every fight. What's... I mean, I can... I, I guess you could actually... I have a buffer, yeah, so I'm... I'm uh, there's, there's no fear here, right? Like... Yeah, fair enough. That way we can see what this ends up on. I assume it's it, this is counting between fights, but like... Yeah, but it's it'd be useful to know. Letter opener, skill potion. Oh! Ooh, that's, this is early enough that's worth doing, I yeah. think, right? Reposition, gain four block, next turn. Okay, so this is like a charge battery, but a little... like I like that his energy symbol is just an axe. axe. Power of axes. Okay. Yeah, well, this guy's a real member of the Axe Havers Union, yeah. if I've ever seen one. All right, well, I'm going to take... Uh... Ooh, Hexaghost. Hexaghost is actually really good for a... That means we don't have to heal. Okay, if we just draw that so card... Gonna die. This is a dead thing. So. Oh, and spin. Yeah, because spin isn't an attack. It doesn't set off. Curl yeah. Either. Oh, no. <laughs> Sir, please survive. Ah, well. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. And the halberd did, in fact, start, so it is counting between fights. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess you can force it. And on next turn, four cards. That'll force it. Oh, you know what's even fu more fucked up about this? I don't think it says exhaust. 
This one does. This... It does? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because otherwise, uh... Yeah, it'd be... All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Hey, there it is. Spin to, Spin to win. win. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll spin to win. It is literally called spin to win. It's hard to pass that up, right? All right, now uh, two yeah. times six right now. Yeah, I, I that's not gonna be that bad. The problem is like seventeen health on this fight if it goes any amount of time, right? Like the burns. You are going to. So on first turn, nothing's gonna be coming out of Hexagos. Yeah, I get I get a turn um, to just go. Right. So you'll be on five for that. Then next turn, you actually get reach six. So I guess you'll get a buffer. I'll get one which buffer. Which doesn't help that much. So long as you, unless you have the, uh, you have the skill potion, you'll be able to block everything that he does. Yeah. The the only for real question that. is just gonna be like. You'll be also applying, at the very least, no matter what happens, on that turn where it attacks you two times six, you'll be dealing 18 damage back to it no matter what. Right. The fact that it does attack frequently and, like, repeatedly, I think you're good personally, but if you want to be safe, you can go ahead and heal. Yeah, it's the, the, the fact is that 17 is really close to, like, what I worry about. It is pretty dangerous, yeah. It is definitely extremely, like... The heel would put it's me at fate. The heel would put me at forty. Just that would put you X. at because it's twelve. Every twelve, it adds plus one, I believe. So so it's four X at that point. Four X, yeah. I mean, that's twenty four damage coming at you. That's harder to block all of. But maybe if you have the thing that makes it so that uh, you get hit, you inflict a uh, weak. That's actually a good thing. Yeah. Because that actually would end up applying over the course of the fight, basically. It just it would pretty much be permanently weak. Mm -hmm. That can still be true even if at seventeen, though. I think it's I think it's a this is purely a a question of taste. Yeah, I guess the next question would then be, what am I upgrading? Uh, does Aghanim Shard become an eight? No, it goes to three. Okay. Which is like that's pretty good. Fine, still. that's a good. That's good. Yeah. Creep egg rogue. I kind of wanted the spin. the spin to go up. Yeah. Um. This goes up to a lot more of an interesting card. Um, mm -hmm. From three and two to much more for, to five and four. I'm gonna go with that as about. my way of trying to offset like the incoming damage here. Mm -hmm. That's every block card in my deck. Okay. Uh, you do again. You still have I a know. skill card in your potions right there. I know. It's just. It is funny that it is every block card in your deck. Except for the there's there's one other block card left there. So two x six twelve. Um. None of these are block cards. Oh, Lou Strainford this turn is better, though. Mm -hmm. That's genuinely even better. Okay, and then... Spin up. Uh, definitely want to put the poison on. And then it's just a question of if I want to, like, spend this to get it out. Or just... Rob, but well, you really shouldn't waste time on this fight. You have 17 health. Yeah. I'm... So probably. Like, just so I don't draw this on an inopportune turn. Your deck is also small enough that it's got a decent chance of coming up on the turn. You'll kill it, but. That isn't the, the, I'm I'm just worried about like deck size and I know. To... I'm just saying that it's your your deck is probably better off without it, but there's also I think it it could still come up anyway. It, it's hard to say. Yeah, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. right. 
Did these zeros count? Uh, zero damages right. do not count unless it is a one reduced to zero where it does count. I know that one reduced to zero counts because of the heart and um, tungsten rod removing buffers. Okay, so there's our buffer. Applying a lot of poison, and also we're under half now, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you've got this on in the bag. Yeah, you're gonna be able to take it. Yeah. Out. I was worried about how fast we accelerated, but the answer seems to be very fast. Pretty fast, yeah. Spin the win is interesting because I think that's the only strength liking card we've seen so far out of this class. Yeah. For me, I like it because it's just a cantripping attack. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, no, it's still but, fine. Even without, but yeah, we haven't just, seen strength as like a, a thing we are. It's not a mechanic in the in the carrot class so far, but it might be. We just might not have seen it, you know? We haven't been to a shop yeah. yet, and that's the best way to see a bunch of cards at once. So the poison has also the, the blood lost I think has done like 120 damage in this fight like mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> wide bronze okay another oh. Another good kind look, Sunga and Yasha on every other attain game one strength and on in one span on exhaust game. So this thing is just ridiculously good. Yeah. Then instantly kill the enemy if they have twenty health or less. If you do refresh it, add a copy of this card to your hand next turn. Is this the alt? Okay. This has got to be the, the like alt move, right? Probably right. There's the alt calling made. Someone said right yeah, there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Because like uh, when it's upgrades, this has become like deal ten thirty. Because that's that's actually pretty deals. good. Six thirty. So okay. it'll kill at thirty six or lower. Yeah. Which for what's worth, this card, this kind of card exists on a lot of these mods actually, and they're always better than they seem. I feel like it'll kill no matter what if you're invincible, but below the threshold. Yeah. Like yeah. There's a League of Legends as a character with this as well but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm way more interested in the that sword the swords there is oh. 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 okay yes please um <laughs> so this this is just gain ritual and spin all right when it's upgraded so, black star oh my god was that right replaces blade mail <laughs> yes <It was>. yes <laughs> Okay, so we can turn our blade mail into the heart of the Tarrasque, which gives us four metallicize and three regen. Okay, that's that's really, really good for defense. Or this one doesn't replace it, it just adds to it. Whoa. That's draw one at a daze. So if that's the case, you're gonna want to look out for cards that like being exhausted or like to exhaust. Or just like having counting cards in hand. Yes. Yeah. Heart of Trask is God tier and Dota 2, shit tons of health and percentage base three hundred. Oh, it's it's Warmogs. This is Warmogs armor. This replaces our blade mail. That's kind of the thing. On the other hand, what we also if you could get that in addition to it, it would be utterly amazing. But you do have the one spin. Yeah, you already do have half of it. Right. Like I can just like maybe. Yeah, maybe that's actually good, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, my blade mail is giving me two spin to start, but the the good kind's prestige is also giving me so so basically I could I could hand off two of my prestige for this, which gives me much more of a long term setup. Then that makes you the heart. This would make you incredibly resilient because the four metallicized by itself is very good 
And yeah. then starting every fight with three regen is well, a lot. Right, that's, that's six, six health each fight. That's six health each fight, which is, you know, also, a, that's its own starting relic. Yeah. And this one's obviously interesting because it's like, we have some card. I'm going I'm to go with Heart of Threat. That seems fun. And I'm glad you were right on the, the call. We, we do yeah, get to that, upgrade that'd our... Yeah, that be replacing the... Because I, I figured that's how... That's how the item systems work in these. You got your inventory of six, and then you... You upgrade your... Yeah. You, yeah. All right, so this is a pretty... Upgrade or replace because it's not like worth using in the mid-game anymore. That kind of thing. Yeah. So Ironclad is a flat heal, but this also scales with other regen in wild ways. The One of the tricks yeah. with regen is that, like, you know, regen three is six, but if I have another source of regen three, that's 18. <laughs> yep. Giant's Ring was a neutral item in Dota 2, which goes in a special slot you only get from neutral creeps and junk. Oh, so that's why it's not an upgrade. It, it goes in oh, its own it's... slot. Okay, so that's actually... I wonder if you're going to get an upgrade from Heart of Tarrasque. Is, is there a level beyond? Oh, God. All right, so I, I'm going to try and set up the knockout, obviously, if we can. We did not get... Uh... Uh, right, I have Metallus. Hell, my buffer's on. I'm I'm invincible. <laughs> okay, there's there's good fun look. I wonder if there's there's a way to manually retain cards in this class as well somewhere. Must be counting on like the train. Yeah, every other turn, so they're talking about on even turns, I guess, right now. Well, or is it one strength on one and then one spin on the other? It says not this turn. But I just gained a strength, but I didn't gain a spin. Hmm. Interesting. Um... I'm gonna keep an eye on my stats. Wait, did you not gain a spin? I thought you did because you don't gain two one at the start of fights now. Oh, that's why mine. Okay, you're right. You're right. I was thinking yeah. of the number as if you're 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 correct. Yeah. Okay. Um. Nine plus seven in addition to that. Um, if you do all of these, I think it will kill itself when it attacks you. Yeah, and I don't want to kill it here if I can avoid it, obviously. Yeah. But I do want to... We'll just pass. So this is going to be... Oh, uh, if... No, zero per. Yeah, yeah that wouldn't work. Okay, so now it's going to be second. lethal if we draw the, the hit. So, yeah. which it's not attacking this turn, so you can you can wait one more turn if you want to. I'm willing to. There we go. Uh, I, I want to I want to replace get my starting relic back up. You know. Yeah. I don't want to do that a ton, but all right. Town portal scroll. Scroll of town portal. portal. <laughs> yup. Devour mangoes. By five bloodlust, X times, X plus one times. Okay. I mean, it seems pretty solid. Played. <laughs> well played. Draw two X cards. So. Okay. Except those tied for the highest cost. Gain equal to that cost. So if you had a deck that was just all like co one cost cards or two cost cards or whatever, you could gain. So you, you play this. Gain one. You draw, draw a, a bunch, bunch of cards. Then you're going to gain back. You're going to go back to like one or two and discard all that don't cost one or two. So like you keep all your two drops, but you only have to be able to play one card. 
you'll be guaranteed to be able to play one, one of the card, things yeah. you draw. Yes. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how good that actually is in general. Yeah. Because it is a little bit like... I'm not super interested I mean, it, in it's, each of these. And... It, it, it still sounds like it's pretty solid. Like, especially if you do it at two, you can draw four, and then you at least get one back. Yeah. It, well, it seems like it's best if your deck is high cost. Yeah, and, yeah. But... We only it's have, not really. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that we only have one, two right now, actually. Yeah. We can just pick up one of these... Yeah, that, and the thing about this thing is that all you have to do is just play it at the end of your turn, and it's always good, right? So yeah, I, I want one. Any more than that, and it starts getting like yes. You, you can have my letter opener, I guess. Letter opener's yeah, cool I, and all, but like, I, I, sure. I, this is actually good for um, a mod as well, just to be able to get access to more of the the rares. Okay. Oh, it's RTX Marshu now. Yeah, I've. I've <laughs> you want it? Kill steal. Gain block and deal damage equal to cards in your hand. Okay. So that's one that cares about your. And then pl just plus two. Ah! Oh, interesting. Okay. So you can hand size up. I like that that's actually a mechanic of this this large axe man because that's normally associated with like wizardly folk. Right, but no. This I mean, dude can retain so much knowledge. Well, I guess the idea the the uh, the, uh, the flavor of that is like if items are cards, you can just hold like look at how many swords I'm holding. This dude can carry so many limes. Gilgamesh style, you know. I'm probably going to remove a strike. Mhm. Mm and Bag of prep is always nice. Yeah. Uh, you could also prayer wheel, which since you just got in Lot's gift. Oh, and just like go for like getting a lot of rare. That'd yeah, be... like a lot of rares and a lot of cards in general. That'd be interesting. Usually that's not the way you, like. You, you that's obviously... not the optimal way to play a run of this game. But. But, mm. but it is an interesting way to run a, play a run of this game. Yeah, I don't dislike that idea. Oh, what is. I have to. Okay. Hmm. When those are upgraded, those are pretty solid. Yeah, they're, they're boots. Boots! Sure. Normally there I would go with, um, oh, okay, birds. Oh, Immediate you're dead. Payoff, they're all opinion. dead. Oh, these guys are fucking dead, yeah. They're all dead. Ah, crap. <laughs> You might be playing as their elemental weakness. Oh. Who knew birds hated axes so much? I mean... Three times. Okay. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Get on the floor. You'll have time to possibly get back to good kind of luck. Yep. Especially now that they're not all 5x mm -hmm. attacking. I love the whoop, because it goes straight up. I love it. Be careful about doing too much damage to them. You might you might kill them too quickly. Yeah. The idea is I'm going to leave this middle one alive. Mm. I have gotten a lot of... A lot of spin, and if it, get, if it gets up, it's very dead. Okay. So there's a bunch of extra card draw. Mm -hmm. So you have a 50-50 at this point, because you're going to draw seven. Well, not 50-50. Sorry, 17. I thought it was 14. Okay. Uh, we need to knock you out of the air, then. Up. And you don't have any blood lost on it, so it shouldn't just die. Yeah. It's a little bit of a... a because it's only once, I feel fine with... 
Oh. Wow. Blink Jagger what draws a card. What bad luck. All right. One no. and three. No. Dang. What a, What bad luck. Oh, well. Because, yeah, there's no way to prevent you from dying at this point to on our... On our... I guess you could theoretically see if you have a power in this class that draws you two cards when you play it. That's yeah. that would be the best possible play. It was the next card too. Damn. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. That gets wild. Very very good with uh multi heads. Yeah. That isn't me skipping. That's me. Mhm. Mm Oh, that's funny. From X. Exactly. This number is not affected by buffs, debuffs, or powers. Oh. I don't that's dislike good. that. Deal nine damage, apply one week, lose one, gain one week. Yeah, Weird. which, you know, as long as it's your last card. Mm -hmm. Ah, this thing. Would you I, like to take clumsy I and to store that, a card? I forgot to put that mod on because I went and did this on a different bit. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just going to ignore it. All right, what are we doing? Trio. Okay. You're gaining. I don't think it's this is the time for wide uh, thorns, but it might be time for power potion. You get nothing. That's permanent. What? Why does he have multiple um, Willy Wonka lines? <laughs> I, 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 get, I don't know. Because you have good days. Good days. I have good days, sir. Is there a you lose? Like, is, is that a? Anyway, I, okay, this is cute. Because all the retained cards are items, like, this is like, you yeah. just... You know. Oh, he just, ha he just has these as lines that you, you lose. Oh. You get nothing. Good days. It's probably the, I am clicking on him a bunch, and we, we get into the joke lines. All right. So the first time we take damage, we get a minus... Uh, Strength, which is nice. There are things he says when he kills people or with his ult or denies creeps. I see. Oh. All right, that's going to work. Nice. I'll take the damage for that. I won't take the damage for that buffer. Yeah. All is forget. Okay. Now we're back up to our three. Mm -hmm. Which we were at before. Yeah. So now we have... Okay, so normally I'm not super big on, um, like... Fatal cards have an annoying play pattern. Right, but with this specifically, we're playing a Dota character. Of, yeah. Of course they're going to have farming, right? Like, why... Yeah, why... of course they're going to have an annoying play pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't think of that as weird for them to have, like, farming as a main mechanic. Yeah. But, like, they're better, they're, they're better as, like, a one-off, like, thing that's, like, okay, you're not, like, so long. Farming. It is us. It's fine. Also, it is in this. It's more of a little bit of a mini game rather than just waiting because we have the spin. You know, like yeah, we can't just do it for free at all times. There's a little bit more to it. Yeah, and you can't prevent it from being spin based as well because the card gives you spin. That's the point. <laughs> and a card from your draw pile. Oh, at the start of your turn, tutor. 
Ignoring hand size limits. <laughs> also draw a pot. This card's unreasonably good. What? I guess this is what we get for seeing more rares, huh? Yeah, this is this is worth it. Uh, it is a two cost power. That but is uh, a little bit, but it's unbelievably good. Yeah. I kind of want to upgrade this first. Yeah, Sangha and Yasha here are probably the best for this. That's so every, good. That's every turn. This is this is holding yeah. like a copy of Demon Form almost in our hand. It's you have better ritual one when this is in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, if you, you, you can stall if like you there is a way to get rid of the spin, but that's also like uh, but you wouldn't be able to use it as um forever like that because the the card gives you spin and it's permanent. Right, because the first one will give you spin. So Yeah, you could only stall with it once. Dag on. Deal bonus damage equal to the enemy's blood. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is the the blood loss payoff card. Take off her welcomes you. Welcome, Moon and Star, <laughs> to this place where destiny is made. I can't afford anything in here. This is just seeing cards. On my on my community like voted Skyrim mod run, uh, one of the mods that we got replaces the things that Throw Voice says with uh, ligma jokes said by Dagother. <laughs> I just wanted to share that. Okay. Kunai versus the key. If we take Kunai, we lose. Like we we have to take the key on the next one. Yeah, and I think Kunai is nice, but it's not that necessary. Yeah, that I, one you already have it, a defensive relic in the form of the, well, yeah. the, the Tarasco. I also, like, I still don't have an energy relic, which means it's hard for me to triple anything in a turn. Yeah. I'm going I'm to go ahead and pass on that. That's It's obviously strong. It's just, okay, um, this upgrade was now just three you can damage, do... right? Okay, it's just three damage. Yeah, it's just plus three damage, which isn't that useful. Carry the team, on the other hand. This... That thing becomes unreasonable. Yeah, now, well, talk about repetitive play patterns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if I just play my best play every single turn? Go long, yeah. <laughs> we don't have money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure, whatever. Yeah, that's actually one of the nice things about that. You can just grab that fatal card whenever you want it now. Yeah. You don't have you, you don't have to manipulate anything. It just will always work now, pretty much. Yeah. And now we have Sandriasha. I want to get a little bit more defensive cards in this deck. I feel like that's something we're Yeah, you are very, bit. very offense at this point. Mm -hmm. You do have the advantage of having an extremely good defensive relic though. Yes. <laughs> or the six you ever bit. think about how one of the fucking original Dota characters was uh, Jaina Pradmore, but they called her Lena Inverse? I, yes, I, I, I even I even mentioned that earlier because I find that really funny. Oh, nice! It like, is very funny. It, it's just I, hey, I wasn't I'll, around like, for it. Like, look, I love like look. Slayers is cool. I don't know. <laughs> um. Okay. It was just the Warcraft 3 Sorceress model? Oh, okay. Ah, I'm sorry. Like, literally... <laughs> that's, that's, that's almost sillier. Okay. So we draw, and now I've got full... Full control over what you want, yeah. Uh, what am I... What, what did I draw? I could use a You block. don't have a discard pile right now, so you can't go through your discard. Okay. Yeah, I should I should get some sort of block. Because I don't have one in hand. 
You have a buffer. It's just going to. He's going to do. Oh, I have damage. a buffer. Never mind. That's. Then yeah. I don't care. So it sounds like I think you want um, Vuln and Draw and Bloodlust. And then you also drew extra cards because of Scroll Town Portal. Nice. <laughs> oh, you failed to get the Blink Dagger, I get. No, no, no I just played mind. it. I played it Sorry. immediately. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um. Can you pull it off? Just here? Because it's already at 14 and... Um... Yeah, because of the Vuln. Yeah. All right, now we're up to four. Because guard, blood. Okay, we get the bloodlust or ah, the the punch that just applies bloodlust. Sure. Sentry ward, draw cape breaker, hard read. Damn. Okay, so this it does cost two though. Right. I think that. You, because you have that power, you've just got the better version of that. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm not sure I need any of these, uh, but... Yeah, Shiva's Guard, if it if it wasn't the two cost, I'd recommend that. Yeah. But... Radiance is something I could pick up if I just want another um, item in my hand. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's an upper limit to how many of those I want in the deck. It's probably like four or five. Otherwise, you, you, your hand is too full, you know, and you can never play anything. Um, My hand is too full. Yeah, that, you just get that every turn, and you and you burn off Reno Jackson. Just It keeps happening. Yep. Reno Jackson would be a really funny card for, uh, for Slay the Spire, because you'd have to get rid of all your strikes and defense. But then it would, you know, Obviously, be busted. Imagine this, actually. Reno Jackson, Jackson as a character, and his gimmick <laughs> is literally that he doesn't have any cards of his own, and he looks through all of your, like, currently installed characters, mm. and he will only offer every card, you know, you can only grab every card once. It's no duplicates. All right, this is probably where I'm spending. Yeah. Yeah, especially given the lack of attacks on this turn. Having this in our opener is just a... <laughs> uh, it's pretty solid. Yeah, Reno would also have to start with one strike, one defend, and then bash. Um, bash, survivor. Neutralize, neutralize. Yeah, neutralize. survivor. Um, and zap. And, and like, yeah, zap and, yeah, like, just like that sort of thing. Where... Yeah, you would have to, and li like, obviously you could have the, the character set up where, okay, if you don't have any mods installed, he just goes to the four characters and grabs those. Mm -hmm. But if you had mod characters installed, then it would also throw those into the mix and that'd be interesting. Yes, you know? yes. You can probably do the good kind with creep aggro as well, right? Maybe not. You're very close. I'm very close. This is 19 damage. Yeah, so you're eight short. Okay. This is book of stabbing. It's not worth like having the fight go on long. That's the entire point of this card. This this enemy, right? Although, I guess if you have time portal, you might be able to force it. They're going to die on the thorns. Because there's, oh, there, right, there's yeah. like 14 thorns or whatever. Egg. Egg. Cheese. Got one last card for the next two turns. Take another turn after this one. Oh, it's, an, it's an extra turn card. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, that's cute. That's actually... Oh, wait. That, this is like... But it doesn't... It doesn't refresh the cards that aren't items, but it's another instance of you have to play out your hand, play this last. But this is really... Like, this is... A, I really like the idea of, like, a, a, a build that's super in on items. That's... Yeah. I, I'm gonna go for that because that seems, like, funny. 
And, like, I can just use it to exhaust, like, garbage if it's, like, near some That, junk. too, yeah. Are you just... <laughs> that's not... That's not an 8 car. It's just been an 8 lately. Refresher orb refreshes all your cooldowns. Ah, okay. So it's, like, hit your ultimate, refresher orb, hit your ultimate, you know, or whatever. That does seem pretty nasty with it. Ah, I guess you got to do it, too. Oh, right. You, you get the choice on when you, uh... When you eat that. So those, I guess, are going to get added to your hand first next so, turn. So, Nightmare, yeah. Oh, it uses Night... Oh, yeah, okay. That would that's make sense. That's a good use, that's, of, that's a good use of the dead mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. yeah. That's that's just an innate mm -hmm. extant mechanic. Um, I have a definitely buffer. can't kill this turn, but yeah. Um, You blo you are taking zero damage this turn. Yep. Yeah. Talisize. Yeah, we have a lot of really cool mechanics in this one. Uh, we have these items that stay in your hand, and it, when they're in here, they give you effects. They're affecting, you know, like, equipment. And then we have a lot of, like, spin. This is just really powerful. Uh, okay. Uh, if you play the carry the team, you could probably pull it off next turn. Yeah. Pretty simply. It is going to gain the 15 block as well. So it's going to take... Yeah, okay. So now we just tutor up. Oh, it's in hand already. Oh, nice. Uh, I need any attack. You need to deal one damage of... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is a joke, I right? I can't believe this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> you... Okay, listen. If you don't attack It'll... you can just do it next turn no because it's gonna die on my spin oh right yeah it's twice uh the problem with ink bottle is ink bottle works off of um is cards played or is it uh attacks it's cards played right so you'd have to get specifically one that costs zero do you have either of those in there still? No, the nah. zero cost tag is already gone. You have put yourself. Yeah. Whatever. Into the one possible situation where it wouldn't work. Oh, that's fine. I think that's very funny, is what it is. The, the thing there, too, is I thought I had already burned through all of the artifacting, but I hadn't yet there, because the vault... I grabbed that vault uh, this, for the... This card's incredible. So, That's a May. You yeah. don't have to... You don't have to not... And also, you can do that for your items to, like... Yeah. Eat them if you want, like, just a... The, the big effect out of them. Or just, like, hey, I want these strikes out of here. Yeah, sure, that seems interesting enough. Nah. So, Refresher Orb becomes... Zero. Cost zero, right. I'm, like, upgrading the... Oh, that's just on the... But that one's just on that. 
Oh, but it's twice as much. That's right. Yeah, so it, auto, it it applies to both. Yeah, it'll double up. Double up. Uh, Aghanim Shard becomes the three spin, three weak. Yes. That's pretty good. Refresher or being able to just always be played is pretty solid. Yeah. Is this... Is this an it's, eight? Did they accidentally put an eight on it? It's just not that's been on the, That's been on my like, opening how many times now? <laughs> like... I don't know. It just kind of feels like it. Okay, um... Okay, and then there's all of our minions dead. Aha! Nice. Or. Oh, that's everything, right? Eh, it's fine, whatever. I think that's still more. I think that's more that's useful than, than the Skull Town Portal. Yeah. All right, now we got a buffer, and we get all our things back. It's kind of weird. I don't want to exhaust a lot of the... Nah, you you have reason to not want to exhaust those, but at the la on the last turn you'd be able to. It's this is definitely a uh, mechanic we have going on here for defensive purposes, not offense, where we're getting rid of like statuses and and the uh, you know strikes and shit. So, spin to win is in hand. I think I want good day, sir. So yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Is that going to be enough damage for me to get the kill with good kim? Like, just taking a look you here. You don't... Because it's going to be um, 14 times 3. That's like 52, right? Yeah, that's probably enough. That's almost certainly enough with the volume. Yeah, you're good. Just that by itself... If you wanted to, you could draw a creep aggro to make it do slightly more too. Yeah. Not not on the tax on the collector though, because that actually would kill it, I believe. Thinking this is 14. That'd be 14. Bring it down you to, go up to 16. 18. It's fine. Uh, uh, you bring it up to 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a Dota character, uh, who is definitely not a, a Warcraft three character. Yeah, definitely not Garrosh Hellscream. Um, no, Grom Hellscream. Grom, right. Garrosh is the, the one from uh, World of Warcraft, no more likes. And then... All right, now we're up to five spin. We are spin to win. We... Like, uh, 
Very specifically, Luke, we are... <laughs> we are extremely spin to win. Literally no... <laughs> Stupid OP character. Uh, does this upgrade to be... Oh, play this on the heart to instant die. <laughs> Here's you get nothing. Uh, this only cost one? Yeah. That's pretty solid at, at one. I don't care about another copy of Good Kind. That's that's not... Yeah, that's not... That's not Th our speed. This is effectively saying... Uh, gain one turn like this is uh in you know invulnerable one in turn you know yeah yeah uh it does require them to not have artifact right and it gains a bunch of spin i suppose which Let's grab that all right then we just have general ah coffee dripper seems like the with one our, that just always works, yeah, right? With the heart, like, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, and okay, this that uh, we have enough powers where that makes sense. Yeah. Um, two elite, two elite. So it's like this line, and then through. You only have 169, so you don't have that much cash. Yeah, I don't want... A two shop doesn't really do anything for us. Hey, buddy. All right. Blink dagger. <laughs> With no damage. That's not gonna matter. This this isn't a fight that's going to last. You know. Huh. Sometimes you just draw your basic impressive. cards. Yeah, not the most impressive of all draws. Yeah. drawn good kind yet. That's enough to not die here. You also haven't drawn Sangin Yasha, okay, so, they, so they are in fact not... That was just a mixed. run of like four fights. Yeah, where it just was in your opener. <laughs> I like the art on this this one. It, that's that's cute. Mm -hmm. The art on this mod is is very fun. Mm -hmm. Worth it. I don't think I see anything in this one. Yeah. Spin works really well in this. If these are all basically in perfect sync, that means you uh, you have them on lock. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like double lock. yeah, let's go for it. Let's fucking go for it. Luke. 
literally no damage. Come on, town portal. Uh. I don't think fatal cards work against these, right? How oh, they do? Oh well, I'm. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. You, you we're, we're already you at super six. Won. Yeah. Up. Oh. We're ready to more about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's neat. Ooh. Void stone. This gives you a single point of ice cream to hold. Yeah. And then if you exhaust it, it gives you a single point of ice cream and yeah. Hmm. I don't know that I'm actually interested in any of these. Like this is funny, but like I'm, I'm we, not, we do always love the more about, but that, that's not the scaling we're doing. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the power of thorns. When attacked, thorns damage won't re trigger that. Because it's attack damage, yeah. I get full after taking the, that hit early, so. Yeah, we have like a number of different styles of defense. It's not always our. Having, like, one of the retains that gives block would be nice. I think the thing I'm most liking about this mod is how much it's transcending the fact that it's a Dota character as a thing, if you know what I mean. Right. This, is, this seems just like a very fun mod to just play, you know? It feels like a comprehensive, like, bunch of good ideas that all work together pretty well. Right. I really like the item idea, that because that, that's a fun yeah. way to translate a, a Dota thing, but it's also, like, a fun bit, you know? Like, it's it's not... Yeah. Maybe a spin to win. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking possibly that second juke might be pretty good, actually. But... Yeah. I'm gonna take the spin to win because we have all that strength that gets mm -hmm. quite powerful quite fast. Okay, hey buddy. I always play a little safe around this one. Yeah, you want to avoid getting the parasite, which is happening right there. Unavoidably, huh? Is it unavoidably? How am I dealing damage to 15? Yeah, I guess so. Because the battle hunger won't trigger it. Um, pretty sure, but... Yeah. It's already an attack by that point. Alright, well, whatever. I like to play around it, but you can't always, so... That's ideal. You got the buffer up already. Yeah. 
And that won't trigger it. Good to know. Yeah, like, the, 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 it's not a real problem to have that, because, like, we have the buyback, we can just get rid of it. But... Mm -hmm. Carry the team. Never mind. I think it's dead regardless. Yeah, I think it's dead regardless. Yeah, oh, yeah, if I was gonna. I could. Yeah. I see what you mean. Doesn't matter. We'll just kill it. Dead. That seems That's wild. Yeah. Um, extremely good. That seems like it's the card you want. Deal 12 damage. The enemy instantly attacks you for four if it survives. Upgrade a card in your hand. I'm going to assume that this is one of the, like, the special creeps that spawns in and you get, you kill them for buffs and things. Yeah, that's gotta be, because, like, uh, like that's, that's the story that we're being told here. It's yeah, it's, exactly. You attack it, it hits you back, and then you get your cool bonus for killing dragon or whatever. Roshan is the pre predecessor to Baron Nashor, uh, named after a bowling ball. Okay, so I don't know what Baron Nashor is, but it Bar sounds like I, I think I'm right. Yeah, Bar Baron is the like biggest of them. Like he's like a mini boss, a boss that lives in the river, and if you beat the, that gotcha. boss, you get like the hell buff that just says, "Look, you're winning." the game. Gotcha. So. Alright. So here's our shop. I'm for you. Okay. Membership card. This is actually like kind of that one instance where membership card is not that useful to get, it, but it's, it's okay. It is all exactly fine to buy it here. Um. Mm -hmm. If you had a little bit less cash, it would not have been. Right, because but... then it wouldn't be worth the... Uh... Even still, like... I think I'm just on Anchor. Like, that's a fine thing. Anchor's always good. I ain't never saying. And then, like... And so now we have the card for the final shop. That's basically it. Mm. And you, you, you will get... Uh, you get, like, 100 cash for beating the boss, right? So... Oh, no, actually, no, not the last boss. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we want to lead with this. Good. That a this being AoE is so powerful. Yeah, spin is legit. Spin is a very legit mechanic, like... Go carry the team. That won't. That won't do it because Fatal requires it to be a non-minion. Yep. I want to say that there was, a, there was an era of this game in which... Um, that didn't require... <laughs> So feed was really, really good. Okay, I want... Oh god, it's everything. So what's our hand right now? Not much. It's got Vladimir's offering in it already. You might want to refresh your orb, actually. Yeah, orb. Um... 
You've got... I can cut and run kill this one here so we're not taking a huge hit. That's that's dying regardless because um, the turn order... Oh, turn order means one, dead, then two, then... Spin. Yeah. yeah. It's dead on spin, long and short of. Okay, so just grab the orb and use that as our final card on the turn. That's what I'm feeling personally. I think that's fun because we have... You got the offering. <laughs> Cute. Got the void stone. Actually, neither of those are partic... I guess it's okay because uh, you'll be getting it. Yeah, so... Defend. Okay. Oh, that's not enough to kill. <laughs> this looks like we're taking a lot more damage than we are. Hey, you're taking 13. Because that gets. Yeah. And then we get the weak apply and the, the spin up, and now we get all our items back. And mm -hmm. so we start gaining gold off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, we are not on a turn where we're killing, so we just need to deal damage. That's all of your stuff in your draw. You could have looked at your discard as well. True. I, I just didn't even think about it because I'm like, well. <laughs> and then, you uh, can't even take advantage of that, really. Um, unless you yeah, get rid of some of these. Yep. Which we can. Right. Now there's good reason to grab the good kind, right? Yeah, we should have lethal with good kind. So it should be like... Pop. Now we're there up to... It is. Sure. Yeah, I'm not. Kind of whatever. They're all excellent, like, sure. I feel like this deck could take infinite spin to wins. Probably. Problem is at this point that'd just be adding more to the, the deck size, you know. Yeah, I, I want to be able to draw into like they do draw a card, which is nice, but I don't have a lot of energy. But they cost energy, so they are not mm -hmm. free, regardless. Yeah. If they cost zero and drew the card, then obviously <laughs> you take them every time. But if they cost zero and drew a card, they'd Literally. be one of the strongest cards that I've seen. Stone lets us carry one. Offering is too many items at that point. Second offering is too many yeah, items. Yeah, that's too many think. items.
That is the third time you've been offered upgraded, you get nothing. Yeah. I'm glad we finally took it. Yeah, I, I wanted one. But there's always been a different choice that has been more interesting or whatever. Seems like an encounter where where spin doesn't perform amazingly, given it only attacks once per turn, and also yeah, it's like we'll get a little bit of damage. damage. Yeah, the Vuln we have plus like a lot of our draw cards are where we're gonna be getting. Mm -hmm. Well, also your strength right there. That seems pretty solid. Totally time, literally no damage, really bad against the hard hop. Yep. Absolutely. You could, you could choose to die. You could choose to give the heart 101 strength if you wanted to. I love that that's a thing in the heart. I know it's actually, like, it should be bad, but for some reason about the heart, I think it's the funniest. <laughs> that there is a way to accidentally give the heart like instant kill me juice magic wand i don't need okay secret card Catch wand item to get charged based on nearby enemy spell cast so you can cash him for health. Oh, yeah, that, that follows. Nightmare, nightmare. That's more or less what the mechanic that the card did on the mechanics, yeah, so. Oh, right, the other incredibly fucked up thing about that card. It says ignores hand size limit, so you always get it. Yeah, you, so it can't fail. Yeah. Stranger B, thanks for the sub. Our buffer. We still have a blink tag replied, we do. Seven, you're getting close. I think you'll be able to just do it next turn pretty tri trivially. Oh, God. Oh, no, never mind. Very Wait. trivially. It does survive. Yeah. Okay, we're up to nine. Okay. Ginger, nice. Holy shit. Okay. Um, that's really good. What does this upgrade do? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Yo, why not? Okay. It's very on plan. I see you chose the middle chest. <laughs> Scales. Mm. Talk about on plan. <laughs> of all the things you could have gotten. I know. All right, what are we losing? Thanks. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I'll lose strike. Sorry. 
everyone keep in mind that that brought this deck down to from 35 to 34 cards yeah for all the score counters up there i think we usually end on like hmm, oh thanks that's what skipping just like two slots that's nothing okay isn't it bad That's the sound of spinning to winning. Immune. All right, let's blink. God, yeah, the the heart, the heart attacking you um, with the you know the twelve hits. Uh huh. It's the end of the game. That's uh. <laughs> Currently, that does 144 damage to itself. <laughs> and there's no guarantee it's going to stay at only 144. <laughs> I've always thought that the Maw was a very strange enemy. Just the way that it cycles between no damage at all and then giant damage. Yeah, to like, oh my god, coming in for literal lethal when it's yeah. attacked for five. Uh, take the refresher orb. Well, goodbye. Oh well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna want some form of defense. Block and damage times two of your your cards in hand. Yeah. Actually. Oh, yeah, there we go. That does it. What if I just don't? <laughs> Choose to cash in that buffer literally any time. Yeah, yeah. We, we can we can There's just the turn where, you know, I'm I'm good, I'll take the buffer. Um Activate spin just once for free at the end of turn. That sounds super worth it. This is cute. It's not an item, though, weirdly enough. I think that might be worth it. Support the team. I know yeah. it's a mate, which is actually kind of a downside with this setup, yeah. but... It was a little awkward, but... <laughs> I didn't think about how that also yeah. probably plays in with uh, actual just regular thorns as well. Mm -hmm. Where it's only the one target. Yeah. Okay. 
Don't play the defense. We can hold over the one energy. Yeah, item as a keyboard just does have unplayable as part of it. But the thing about it is, like, I felt like, oh, it would just cash all that in on the exhaust. But I guess they didn't want to have an item where you could only use it, like, effectively if you could ex exhaust it. One-man army spin. Kill steal. Assault curious. Gain one dex. Deal six damage for a random enemy for every six, two cards in hand. Okay. Huh. That actually does attack a lot. Yeah. And it benefits from strength. Sure, why not? Disc or... Second blink that girl so it gets the two Vuln two bloodlust again. Yeah. Okay. You can still support the team yeah. if you wanted to. I really don't think that this fight is going to be able to out, like, I don't think it's going to out strength you, especially because um, one of the things about this, the dangerous parts of this fight is when it starts to attack multiple times, which is a good thing for you. Right, we we kill very fast when that starts happening. Yeah. I might not play the cell for buyback, I don't know. Shrug. Whatever, I'm at 88, what am I fearing? What am I even like, what could I possibly have to fear? <laughs> like, I'm still not even taking damage this turn. And you're getting a uh, buffer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's not worth it this turn to get rid of the young disc, but. No, it's gonna. Huh. Why am I suddenly dropping a million frames? Let me, let me check that out quick. Because I'm not getting you. You're not dropping frames in the side stream. Was the interesting thing. So that sounds like a connection to Twitch problem. Yeah. Du -du -du. Yeah, my, my up is consistent. It's just... I wonder if that's a Twitch thing. Anyway, we're if near you the... wanted to, you could possibly... Oh, it looks like it may have... No, not fair. Not fully, but it looks like it might be improved. Oh, no, no, it's getting worse. Oh, well. Well, that just means I should finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> If you really wanted to, there is a way to force OBS to swap to a different Twitch server, but...
This gets me a buffer and then gets me the buffer back. It's true. Okay, now we're on phase two. Oh, hey, my Which hands you can just good. decide to buffer through. Yeah. There's the buffer. All right, you got one hit in there. All right. It is time to place your bets. In the meantime, I'm going to see if maybe there is. is. Is there a way to swap on the fly, or is it something you have to bring it down? No, you'd for? have to take the stream down, because yeah, it's, um, it's in those settings. The fact that we're at the heart just means I'm, I'm probably just going to... Yeah, it's just... You have the recording anyway. That's, that's why, because why, the recording won't have yeah. any of this... So, yeah. Uh, I will call out whoever is closest if they, you know, or you could do it. There's yeah. a bunch of different ways. Yep, yep. This is still interactive. It's fun. Yes. Dang, kinetic given going for the fences oh with the 9,025. Huh? <laughs> I know that they meant 9,025, but. <laughs> Holy smokes. Just, yeah, 1 million. 1 million, Bob. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't, I can't count that high. I'm millennial. <laughs> Even higher numbers. Nah, it looks like it has kind of set around 900-ish. All right, I'm going to hit the button. Erase your precious axe. 817. Oh, dang. Really under undersold. I, from please tell me I won. Nobody, nobody, one dollar. Oh, nope. Okay, Captain Ultros with seven, seven, seven. If that Captain bet, Ultros is the one who got it. If yeah. that bet wasn't in, I would have won by default because nobody one dollar bobbed. You gotta, you got somebody's got a one dollar bob, or else I might be able to steal it. But congrats, Kinetic. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sorry. Sorry, Kinetic. Give it nine thousand twenty-five was a little too high. Um. What did Duetic have? A twenty-two. That's, that's two. over. Yeah, that's over. That's five over. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. There was also a six-six-six, but seven-seven-seven. Seven-seven-seven wins. Won. Congratulations, Captain Ultros. Thanks, Valmet, for gifting out uh, a sub as well. To the wrong captain, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm <laughs> many captains are winning today. All right, let's let's finish. Let's speed through the heart then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seeing as uh, we should probably be able to kill the heart pretty quickly. <laughs> I have a little faith in this class. This is a neat yeah. One. I think that this this legitimately this class is like I said. The thing I'm most impressed by is how much how little I care that this is a Dota character, but like yeah. positive. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I. I don't have to know a single thing about Dota to, to play this and go like, oh, dang, I know how this class works and that it's and why it's doing what it's doing. Yep. All of this stuff makes sense. It's good.
three dollars. Do you want it? Three dollar. It's yours, my friend. Huh. Exhaust one card in your draw pile. I I'm assuming you would get to choose. Yeah, so this would let me, like, tutor up. This would let, let you, like, get a free, um... Item eat. Item effect, yeah. Like, it'd apply four bloodlust every one if you wanted to. Yeah, that's probably what I'll go for. Either that or get rid of your parasite. Or just put on a buffer. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, true to the source, but still, like, you don't need to know that to, like, have it be cool. Yeah. Because there's a lot of mods out there that legitimately, like, you need to know the source material to really play the play them effectively, I feel like. Where, you know, they, they have just weird play patterns because of it or something like that. But th this is one that's, the text is all very well done for being concise. Um, it's all e immediately understandable. And its mechanics are simple, but, you know, have a lot of depth. They're elegant, is long and short of it. You know, yeah. that, that, the card game term of, <laughs> of just elegant. Now, well, here's all my items back. It is one of those, like, that's pretty much what you can, almost what you could call a perfect character mod in Slay the Spire, I think. It's just... Ah, uh, yeah, this is just, this makes sense. It's it's easy to work with, mm -hmm. and it's fun. So, there you go. Cheese. I'll take Sentry Ward. Yeah, I think you, yeah, being able to draw and scry. All right. It's pretty nice. First things first. Drink. Second thing, second. I think this might be push. I don't know. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Because that's just free damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so it's going to be doing 120 to itself. Nope, sorry, more than 120. It's going to be doing 120. It's 156. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's uh mm -hmm. I'm gonna set up carry the team over anything else. So I'm get rid of that parasite. Alright. And the other thing is, someone said earlier that, like, oh, yeah, um, this ca character's, like, entire thing in, in Dota is that they're best when they're fighting creeps, which is, like, the, you know, the NPC, like, just random guys, right? Which means that the fact that this is, you know, attacks all enemies, this character is really good at just the regular fights. It, it all works together really well, because, like, on top of it not needing any knowledge of Dota and all that, it, but also, it pays a yeah. lot of homage to the source. It's very true to the game. Yeah. So I put up a buffer for our turn here where we're mm. 
taking a uh, 57 Single hit. Big hit. Okay, so we could die. I could choose to die. You could choose to die. Just, which, you know, I'm not gonna. That's. I think it would be a very funny way to end <laughs> this, uh, this this mod. Honestly, is just. All right. Obviously, everyone knows we could win this. <laughs> but what if someone didn't know about you know, set, set strength of heart to one hundred and uh, and two. God. That sounds like pretty ungenuine gameplay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I actually think that the, this is really strong for just an. I mean, hell, because you have that minus two strength on it, it's actually going to gain some extra, right? No, it's it's only the temp strength that, that causes that. That's right. The way that it works is that it sets itself. It sets it to two strengths, not strength plus two. So you see how it's yes. negative two here. It will go to two instead of going to uh, yeah. So that's negative... going up by two. So that negative ninety nine would um. Would then the the negative ninety nine would still be in effect on the end of its turn, even though it just set its strength to two, which means that the next turn, uh, once its turn ends, it would set itself to uh, one hundred and one strength. The best move on that turn was not to play. You had that, the buffer. Yeah. I have the buffer. If I took any action, it got lost to heartbeat. I could retutor what I wanted there anyway, which was the orb. We did do that last time with the negative 20 here. You are right. I'll gain two spin, thanks. All right. So I'm taking 48. Uh, the, the heart is taking 201. <laughs> no, that'll reset to 300. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, never mind. They're the heart gonna, is dead. The heart is dead. We're not even taking all the damage. <laughs> dead to the thorns and not to the spin. Incredible. Art? Yeah, this... Art. Oh, art! Art. <laughs> Just keep spinning. <laughs> they broke out at the top. Spinning always wins. Yeah. <laughs> Three seconds off two hours. <laughs> that was custom art. This, this class kicked ass. This class is great. Oh! Nice. I needed one floor less. All right. Uh, yeah, pretty clean. Like, we didn't have a ton outside of the librarian. Oh, well, yeah, we didn't have any, like, super... You, you know, we, we didn't have any relics that are like, oh, these relics solve a run sort of thing. No, this was mostly off the back of the uh, the mod itself. Yeah, I want to I want to take a look uh, at the card list, kind of see what else is in there. But holy smokes, like yeah. So this one was like hidden in my mods because I I missed it under a the axe rather than axe, so I didn't add it after I added it like as a mod. That's why it's just the only one on right now. Mm. 
satanic. Fill your hand with dazed cards. Red mist form. Whenever you gain a non-intangible buff. Gain one what? extra stack of it. Whoa! Whoa. Holy smokes! Is this a beta art set? Nah, this is, that's just... No, okay. And then, yeah, lose ethereal, sure. Yeah, lose ethereal, sure. But yeah, this is also a really well-designed... Like, this is a card that doesn't make any sense in any other class, right? Yeah. Like that, and that... It makes sense in, like, one other class I know of, but it, it, for right. the most part, yeah. Like, the, the whole point of this is, like, oh, you can use it to pull out your item Yeah, passes. effects of items, yeah. Counter a stove. Orb. Mm -hmm. That's a perfectly reasonable fact. Counter a stove. Right next to Culling Blade. <laughs> Deal damage equal to the sum of your metallicized plated, plated armor and armor block. And block? Wow. So so this is like does not affect Oracalcum. Yeah. Excellent. Or Calcum's still bad. So this is body slam times a million, but you yeah. get your metallicized and plated armor. Mm hmm But it also costs because body slam upgrades cost. Oh, this is the this is hyper cleanse. Mm hmm Just look, I am no debuffs, I'm immune to all debuffs. I'll hit my sash. This one? Yeah, that's the upgrade I expected. Um, yep. That's good. Uh, Culling Blade, cheese, and then I think we saw most everything down here. Tower Dive. Oh, okay, of course. Uh, exhaust any number of cards in your hand. Gain two block for each card exhausted. Tunnel Vision. Phase Boots. Gain three block, draw one card, draw two cards, add a daze to your hand. Okay. The gotcha. dazed on these is an interesting drawback. It's, it is because it makes it. It also. Because, um, like, we also. It has mechanical advantages on it, but at the same time, makes it so, sort of like, these are not unbelievably free with, like, hop and things like that. Right, because, like, have th a lot of... this card, for instance, or, you know, Blink Dagger and uh, Phase Boots are cards that you can just, like, hyper go infinite with. But because of that, that setup, they can't. And also, it's a drawback with, you know, these items where you might gum up your hand, but at the exact same time, that could be your, your positive plan where you're looking yeah. for uh, this, you know? Yeah, you might want to fill your, your hand every single time. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not a downside, it's but it's enough of a downside to not make the card like an infinite on its own, which is a smart way to design it, right? Yep. Like that way, like, like it's so small and it, it's a lot of upside, but it's just enough of a downside to make it so you have to work around it. Mm -hmm. It's a smart, it's smart is yep. long short of it. And this mod is just overall uh, quite smart. Yeah, here's it another, knows what it's doing. Here's another hand like her. Oh. That's a lot That's of That's a lot of decks if you're set for that. And then, of course, you have, like, a this sort of defensive offense in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get, get Medkit and you've got an infinite, too. Yeah, so, like, there are ways to just make it work, you know, where it's like, okay, now I can just play my... But um, at least it's not an infinite by itself. Check for rune. Choose one. Two Choose vuln, one. two weak, two metal size, draw two, blur one, or <laughs> next turn. This just does any huh. whatever you're looking for. Every two minutes in the river, a rune will spawn that gives you a power-up. This is you checking for which power-up it is. Okay. I, I feel like if that's the case, it should be... You should get one randomly, honestly. Or, like, if it's, like, random and upgrade to choose or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, dang. Uh, happy this one just kind of came out of the, the, the woodwork on my mine. I, like, it's it's a lot of fun. I like I like that each of its different uh, plans kind of have ways of playing with each other. Yeah. Like, in the sense of, like, okay, 
we know that in a, a, a set a, a plan where you have spin as a mechanic, you're going to want to be very defensive. So we have dex bits. We have dex bits. There's no Agnum Scepter. That's got to be a relic then, right? Like, uh, Probably. But, you know, but then, like, we have, like, okay. But then, like, okay, if you're a hand size liker, there's cards that push you to uh, care about bloodlust. There's cards that push you to... Like, like there's there's cards that weave you into different plans at the same time. The funny thing time. is, is and the, yeah, the, the thing that's really interesting about it is that hand size liking seems to mostly be the item thing, but at the same time, it doesn't fully require it because there's other cards in here that also work towards like filling up your hand. Like the, the and, days. And obviously, like when we were early on and we just had Song of Yasha, uh, like we we didn't care about items. This was just a powerful card on its own. Yeah. Or um, you know, having a lot of, a number of these are just like oh, they're kind of a power that instead of having to play, they take up a hand slot. And when you only have one or two of those, pff, they're free. I want to say that the nicest thing I could say about this uh, this mod here is I feel like the only reason why you ever like passed up grabbing a card on this run was because you already had a copy of it or it didn't fully contribute to the plan. There was never a time we looked at a card and said, that's not a card I'd ever take. Yeah, like th th there's always something here where it's like, oh, this actually looks really interesting where it's like, well, even like, here's a card at common that's even its own little plan. There, I don't think there, I saw yeah. another card like this, but this, you know, works with the bloodlust. Well, that's, that's the bloodlust plan, yeah. mainly, is what that is, but right. yeah. It is but it also, but, you know, it also works with Blink Dagger, it also works yep. with uh, things like that. Was that Body Slam mm -hmm. uh, X times the better? Yes, that's what counter a stove. Body Slam, remember, does specific, well, I guess when it's upgraded, it costs zero. Actually, you know what? It is better because if it costs zero on upgrade, because it still does it. Yeah, never mind. It is better. It's just better than Body Slam. Yeah, and then like... Okay, that's probably it, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's likely the thing everyone's talking that's about. That's probably that's the that staff people are talking about, but we're also seeing a couple others that... Actually, this is... Yeah. This is, this is just the... Isn't this just the Shiv one? I don't remember. But that looks like a staff, right? Yeah, this, is, this is a staff. This is, is my this, guess. Yeah. And then, like, a couple others that are... That's a Divine Rapier? Oh, huh. Well, I guess maybe it isn't there, then. So. But, but yeah, this uh, fun one. Really liked it. Oh. <laughs> is that it? That's not... Doesn't look like a scepter, but... So... All right. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you all for joining. Uh, thank you for uh, <laughs> dealing with uh, Twitch having a bit of a hiccup. But, mm -hmm. you know, glad uh, we were able to have a really fun class. Uh, thank you, Doc, for joining. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> the Chain of Memories card. Shit, that is. You're right. This, 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 <laughs> that's the little crowd. <laughs> so... Anyway, if you want to catch more, you can always follow. Thank you to uh, everyone who subbed today. I appreciate it. If you're just here having a good time, that's great. Uh, as far as upcoming things, um, tomorrow I'm probably going to try and get in some more Pokemon Emerald Rogue. Uh, Sunday is Bug Fables, and then the regular weekday schedule. Uh, the new magic set doesn't drop on Arena until the week following. I know the, 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 the whole of it's spoiled, but it won't be out until next next Tuesday, so huh, we'll be looking at won't be able time. to achieve second breakfast for quite a while. Yeah. Still some time. Alright, thank y'all for joining. Oh, and uh, if uh, yeah, Wednesdays we're nearing the end of Dragon Warrior 4, and Thursday we're at the end of Live Alive, which that's been excellent. So, that remake is wildly good by the way yeah I, i'm Holy well aware shit. They're, it's so good that they're considering making a live alive 2 if that <laughs> remake sells really well wow so I know. it's on it's on steam to check out so well worth it all right can you imagine that it's game that came out like 20 years yeah. ago 94 right 30 
Oh yeah. Sorry, nearly thirty. Yeah, like almost. Like, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, everybody. See ya. <laughs>